So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so my name is Ava Perno Keegan. I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering, um, and I'm also majoring in computer science. Um, and today we're joined by MAP, the Michigan Autonomous Aerial Cold Vehicles. Sure. Um, so you so do, do you want to go ahead and introduce um, yourself um, and talk Michigan a little bit about your role? Aerial vehicles. I'm currently a junior in computer engineering at the school, and I have a focus on embedded systems, and I'm also big into sustainable engineering. Perfect. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with talking to them about what is MAV, so what type of majors sure. and so people MAV, are in it, uh, um, we and kind of like what's the goal of your project team. Competition. So we do everything from designing the structure of the drone, all of the electronics that go on it, and writing all of the autonomous code. So there's a lot of different majors that usually participate. We have a lot of computer science, computer engineering, mechanical, aerospace, and really anything if you're interested in joining, we'll find a role for you. Cool. Okay, so going off that too, do you want to talk about what your current project that you guys are working sure. on right so now So right now is, we're working with IR. Maybe some future projects that you'll have. Competition. There's a bunch of different teams from many different universities around the world. And right now the competition is being held remotely. So we have to design the field ourselves and we'll have like an authorized IR representative come and make sure that when we run the competition that we're following all the rules and stuff. So this competition is interesting because it's going to be fully outdoors. So our drone is very big this year. It's going to be about four feet wide from propeller to propeller, mm -hmm. and it's going to have to fly around 30 miles an hour. Um, we have to cover, I think it's like five kilometers total or something like that. It's a long distance. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different complexities in this challenge in terms of like battery life and speed and like weight management. Mm -hmm. And besides that, there's a precision part of the challenge that involves, uh, at least the way we're handling it, uh, computer vision. So we have to track a moving target and be able to like dock the drone with it and kind of like land on it. So there's a lot of different things going on. Mm. It's really cool. Okay, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and then right. with that, too, so do you want to talk about the different teams, sub -teams uh, that We deal go a lot with electronics. Uh, we make custom printed circuit boards with STM microcontrollers on them and write some embedded code. Uh, the interface with other electronics that we don't design ourselves, like we have an onboard flight controller and like speed controllers and motors, all of that stuff we buy off the shelf. Uh, we have the structure sub team. They do all of the CAD and uh, 3D printing, and they order a lot of like carbon fiber and very expensive motors and electronics, and they assemble the whole thing. And then our software sub team spends a lot of time writing code and doing simulations of the drone. They showed me a pretty cool simulation the other day um, that shows like the docking and like vision tracking procedure, where they're able to like find four points on like the moving target and show like the drone will be able to track it. So yeah, we have a lot of different stuff going on. Um, and with those two, do you feel that you need to have skills no, before you definitely don't need any joining? Skills. Maybe uh, what was your experience year, before joining uh, the, the winter team semester, as well? And I didn't really know much. I just went through my introductory engineering classes and I know I like computers, but that was about it. Since I joined the team, I've learned a lot of different stuff and I learned stuff kind of faster mm -hmm. than you get taught in some of the computer engineering classes actually. Like uh, the summer after I joined, I spent a lot of time doing surface mount mm -hmm. soldering and I learned how to use Autodesk Eagle, which are skills that I'm just getting to now in my classes in my junior year. So we usually have a good amount of upper level, or I guess older members, I should say, that have had more experience. So if you join as a freshman with no knowledge, will be. Oh, sorry. Perfect. Um, okay, cool. Um, and then what type of events um, mm -hmm. are hosted outside of just like your sub teams and yeah, we like like that. Do you have any events, social uh, events to help get um, that are hosted to know each other? Sometimes it's a little bit hard to meet people on the different sub teams if you know you only really meet in your weekly meetings with your own sub team. So recently, just a couple of weeks ago, we actually had a social event with another project team, MVFT, who makes um, vertical takeoff and landing drones. They actually share our workspace in the Wilson Center. So we were able to get together with them, have some pizza and play like Mario Kart and stuff like that. So that was a good time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and then also I want to ask what the time commitment is like, or what it, how has it been for you um, being mm. in East classes? We um, definitely encourage you need to, attend to attend everything. Uh, every um, meeting, so but I guess only the ones time. specific for your sub team. So we usually have one meeting on Sundays in the afternoon that goes for like three or four hours. And then each sub team will have one more meeting throughout the week. That's usually around two or so hours. Um, so attending those meetings is a great start. And then 
Uh, usually there's a bit of work to do outside of those meetings. So if you want to come into the Wilson Center or maybe if you're on the software team and you can just, you know, sit with your laptop at home, uh, usually probably around six or seven hours is what we'd like to have for all of our members. Um, right now we're a bit of a smaller team, so we're hoping to expand a bit more. So maybe in the future, it'll be a little bit more of a light workload for every member. But right now it's just a bit more, especially as a leader for one of the sub teams, I have a bit more like administrative duties to do that takes some time, but I definitely am able to manage it with all of my classes. Um, and what type of professional opportunities would you say that members gain from being in MAV? Um, you mentioned older yeah, students are in there you could talk really to. Any um, so how has that been for you? So many connections you can get from all of the sponsorships and from all of, you know, the internships that different, uh, different uh, students get to go to. So for MAV especially, especially like once you get to your junior or sophomore years, you'll see a lot mm -hmm. of members just getting really cool internships um, based off of the knowledge that we've learned on the while on the project team. So pretty much everything on my resume uh, revolves around MAV right now. And every time that I've been in an interview for an internship, I can just talk about all the cool stuff I've done with embedded systems. And that seems to be like the most engaging and interesting part for the person who's interviewing me. They like to talk about that a lot. Um, and then you mentioned too, um, some leadership opportunities. So could you talk a little bit more yeah, about so we those have, opportunities uh, for um, students who are in the There's board? a team president, a vice president, we have a treasurer, and then each of our sub teams has a lead. So usually um, there will be team leaders for around a year and we'll hold an election after every year. So if you're interested in joining and you wanna join as a freshman, you can kind of get to know the leader and start asking them about like their role and all the different stuff they have to do. It's really not that much more work than any of the other um, members on the sub team. I just have to do some more administrative things and I have to kind of do all the leadership aspect in the organization. So if you are interested in a leadership role, it get, definitely gives you some good skills mm -hmm. and some good uh, talking points for interviews and stuff like that too. And then for people who are hearing this or are really interested in joining, um, is there a specific way that students have to yeah, join? Yeah, we're going to have a booth um, Will you be at Best of All or Northwest we'll um, next year? QR codes and stuff if you want to scan it then. Uh, you can also go to our website. Um, I, let me double check what the domain is because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But there's a little link on there you can f uh, follow and there's a Google form to fill out mm -hmm. and then that will send an email to us. So we'll be able to add you then. Uh, I think you can find us on May's pages. Our website should be linked on there. So if you want to take a look at that. But next semester, we'll be transitioning from this one competition to another competition. So we're definitely going to be looking for a lot of new members to recruit since there will be a big uh, increase in the workload that we'll have to do. So definitely, if you're interested in anything relating to aerospace or computer engineering or mechanical or whatever, then yeah, come try to join us and we'll, we'll find something for you guys to do. Um, and then to end, my last question um, is just what has been your favorite was, thing or uh, your when favorite I memory? I started soldering um, from my that. first circuit board and powering it on and seeing all the LEDs turn on. That was definitely the coolest part. So I had no experience with any of that stuff beforehand, and it was really just a cool, uh, cool moment to prove that I could do all those things. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us and talking about Mav um, and your experience and with the. Um, I'll make sure to link uh, the website in our Bye. caption after this, but 